every single one of our minds are conformed into something. Many of us not may, may not even be aware of this, but something has conformed our mind. And I can promise you that most of our mind has conformed into something unhealthy. This is why we have anxieties, depressions, sadness, mental illness is which is what the world calls it, is what the doctors of the world call it. You see, they prescribe medicines for these things. But none of these medicines truly heal you. They just keep you at a place of idle and you still have this same conformed mind from what it was conformed before. But nothing truly delivers what they what the world gives you, what the doctors prescribe you. Nothing truly delivers your mind into a freedom from what it was conformed into and from. Anything we consume ourselves in, anything we are saturating ourselves in, anything we invest our times into is conforming our mind. And many of us have grown up as our minds were being conformed by something, we're unaware of this. So now as we're adults, many of us do not even know How to fix this deconformed mind that has that that has been conformed into something unhealthy. You see, our minds soak up so many things, and our mind soaks up this world, sports. You know, uh, TV, movies, music, conversations at work. And so everything is unhealthy. All that is unhealthy. Look at the sex it brings. Look at the violence it brings. Look at the gore it brings. Look at out your past and look at all the unhealthiness that you have encountered and, and, and witnessed and experienced. Has this conformed your mind as well? You see, as I grew up, no one ever told me my mind was being conformed into, into a way or from something. And at the at the time when I was a teenager or in my 20s, I had a lot of issues with my mind already. But still, no one told me how to heal. No one told me what this, what this was in my mind. No one told me how to set myself free from this. And if I was going to go to the doctor... They would just prescribe me some medications. Or I could go to a shrink, a psychologist. Maybe shrink is not the correct term, so uh, I'm not trying to offend anybody. And I apologize if I did. Um, but a psychologist, you know. And, and, and here's the truth, no medication... And no psychologist can reconform or transform your mind into re into a into a place 
into a place where it needs to be renewed. This is the only option. I see so many with their minds full of anxiety and, and, and depression. And, and, and like I said, mental illness. When they accept this is who I am and they find their identity in this unhealthy conformed mind that isn't In this conformed mind that isn't permanent. You see, this conformed mind can be freed, but the only answer is it has to be transformed. And the only way it can be transformed. Is by God's word through Jesus Christ. You know, every single one of us will have troubles, and every single one of us in life, and every single one of us will, will have come across individuals with conflict, will have conflict in this life, will come across. Uh, um, times where we had to make a uh, react, we had to make a decision, or, or or times that will cause a reaction. But when your mind is conformed into this world, into unhealthy things, you will make a reaction, or cause, it or make a decision that will lead to more consequences. You see, I can't tell this enough, man. God's word is alive. God's word is the only book and the only thing. For he, Jesus Christ, is the only one who could transform your mind and make it new. A new thinking process that you have never had. You will you need to saturate your mind in God's word that is full of wisdom and knowledge, gentleness and love, self-control. And you will be freed. Once your mind starts reconforming into the ways of the Lord and into a supernatural way that you had never had before. You see, this is life. And this is the only life We must be so devoted We must be so hungry To soak in the Bible To soak in God's word Why? Because it's the only thing that's gonna, that's gonna that's, that will keep us alive in every situation. It's the only thing that will keep us afloat in every circumstance. It will save us from any consequence. It will save us from death. 
It will save it will save us from foolishness and from stupidity. And when you read in God's word, when you saturate your mind in God's word, it will be conformed into what is truly alive and what is healthy that are on things above. My heart goes out to so many. Because many of your minds are imprisoned in a dark place. And you have accepted this life sentence. You know, when they prescribe you with medication, They say, this is what you have, and you accept it, and you say, okay. Okay, I'm full of anxiety. Okay, I'm full of depression. This is how my mind is. Okay, I have a, 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 a mental illness. And you accept it. Therefore, you're tormented by it, and you're miserable. And you accept the life sentence that this this is is gonna stick with you for the rest of your life. But as I said before, this is not permanent, and it doesn't have to be a life sentence. You could be truly set free today as you grab a Bible, as you open it up. As you transform the renewing of your mind and retrain and relearn a whole new thought process many people don't believe in the power of the word of God and how alive, they don't know how alive it is and the reality of it. But I tell you, just read it. Everything you put your mind in is full of death. It has given you nothing. And won't give you nothing but death. Nothing, nothing, nothing is healthy in this world. If it doesn't have Christ in the middle... You are wasting your time. Open up God's word. Open up his truth. This is how you start to prepare your minds for action. This is how you work out your mind. This is how you guard your mind. Allow your mind to come back to life. Because that's why you're so miserable. Your mind is full of death.
consume, 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 saturate, soak your mind in God's word, no matter how hard it is. And see a life, see your life change. That turns from death to life. Because this is exactly what it will do.